So we're at the base of the palms. I'm not gonna make it all the way to the palms, but this is close enough this time. Look at that. So I'm about to leave this area and this is one of my favorites here in Arizona that I've been to as of yet. And this behind me is the Kofa Mountains. That's where Palm Canyon is and we've been here a few days. So I'm going to be heading back to Texas pretty soon and this is the last time we'll be here. But today's a beautiful day. It was in the 30s this morning so it's kind of chilly. Not a cloud in the sky, but beautiful mountains. We're heading out. We gotta go into town, and while we're there, we gotta go to McDonald's. You know, it's 69 cent ice creams. Dollar spicy chicken sandwich. Gotta go get rid of some trash and do a few errands and then. We're out geocaching today. It's kind of a cool, breezy day, but still geocache. 200 feet away. That geocache is gonna be up here by this. Water tanks, these stables. Nice day for a hike. 90, 86 feet. Mine's pointing right at it. Yeah, I'm four, I'm like four feet now. So this is one of the reasons why I love to geocache is because you run into things like this that you would never ever come upon. We are out geocaching and this is an old stable. I mean you just would never run across this any other way. But geocaching takes you to some of the neatest places and you see some of the neatest things. I just like this. Wow. Look how interesting that all these holes in there. Oh, this was an old windmill and water tank. Now this is interesting. How they kept this thing together. Look at that turnbuckle. I guess they got water in it and they were trying to keep it together with this wire, this cable. Okay, I'm standing and walking in the middle of the desert and I come across this. Is this not birch bark? Or does it come off of some kind of desert cactus tree or something? If y'all know or know what this is, um, put it in the comments below. Yard. 
This is Sharon's Free Library. Take one, leave one. So, out in the middle of the desert. There's a little church. Look at a pig. Oh, it just goes around in a circle. Yeah, I thought it was a circle. I did too. A little church. So I'm cooking some salmon and some cod in some foil and some baked beans on the fire. That's why you build a small fire pit. Of course you could cook on the big fire pit too. 